And I think you open up the door to where I want us to go, which is professional journey. And so how did you all break into your industry? I know a lot of people out there may be interested in some of the work that you're doing. They want to be the next insert name here. How did you break into your industry? Because right now we live in a social media world, and a lot of times we see on social media this image of people's lives, and we're like, well, I want that too, type of thing, right? And that's just natural human instinct sometimes. But there's a journey to everything. Things don't happen every night. And I always tell people, for me, you know, Nigerian connection here, um, there's prayer behind everything. You don't know how much I pray, and you don't know how much my mom pray, because she'd be in there again, the holy boy is praying all through the house and just pray. But do you understand, like, there's a journey that comes with this. So I would love to get your, your, your feedback of how did you break into your industry, and what would you say is that path, so to speak, if you were to create a nice little kid for your 21-year-old self and say, this, 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 this is how you would get there, what, what, what would you say? What is in that kid? I would actually say, I would actually go back to your last question and say, don't compromise, ever, in life. Don't ever compromise. I always tell people that everything new is crazy until it's not. When I first started doing hair, it was all about natural for me, and that was like 17 years ago, you know? I was like maybe, no, that was like, I was like, I was like what? I was like 13, okay? 12 or 13 when I started doing hair. My whole thing was natural hair, way before it was cool. And if I was 13, that means I was 10 years old, so I'm 21, does that make sense? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 22, 23? Dang. All right, as I was saying, but, Everybody thought it was crazy. Everybody said, Lashia, well, only you can do that, right? But I said, no, everybody can. You guys can, you know? Let me show you how you can do it. And it was those times when everybody was perfect. And now you guys look around the room. Look around the room. For real, for real. I said, like, look around the room. <laughs> Almost all the girls here are natural. You understand? Oh, yes. Give it up for yourself. Give it up for yourself. Everybody told me I was crazy. I work at the bank, Mashia. I can't do that. You're crazy, Mashia. I'm an attorney. I can't do that. But I told them, yes, you can. As long as you do it, somebody else will let you. The only thing that held or are holding black women down from accepting who they are are black women themselves. You know what I mean? Like, they don't care. They don't care. The first person to come to your office when you wear your hair wild is, is Shaniqua. Have they seen your hair? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when Bob goes by your office, he's like, oh my God, that's a nice hair. <laughs> Like if you have a passion in life and you have something that you want to do, just follow it. You don't have to worry about what other people tell you. People will always tell you you can't do that. They tell you you can't do it because it doesn't exist yet. But that's how legends are built. You get what I'm saying? They do that shit, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> they do that stuff that doesn't exist. You get what I'm saying? So you can't be afraid. You can't, there are, the world is full of followers. Yes. It's full of followers. Yes. You have to decide, am I a leader or am I a follower? And the moment you decide you're a leader, I'm gonna do this regardless of what everybody else says, guess what? You have a whole group of people following you. Yeah. No. I'm just telling you. I'm just trying to tell you. That is a word. 